Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson in my beginner piano course level one. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. In this lesson, we're going to learn our final performance piece for this module, which is when the saints go marching in. This piece is quite difficult. It combines a lot of things that we learned in the previous lessons, like the C chord, the G7 chord, melodic intervals, harmonic intervals, and different kinds of note values and rests. Let me demonstrate it and then I will talk you through the difficulties. So, the melody is mostly in the right hand where you see the melodic intervals, but in the third line from bars 9 to bar 13, the left hand joins in and plays the melody with the right hand the exact same notes. But other than that, the left hand is playing the two chords, the C chord and the G7 chord. Again, you can recognize the chords, but I also added chord symbols to the sheet music. Now, as you can see, the time signature says 4-4, four, four, but we only have three beats in the first bar, which instantly tells us that this is an upbeat and you can find the final beat in the final bar. So the last bar has one beat, the first bar has three beats, which all together make up four beats. So that means that the strong beat is going to be the first beat of the second bar where you see saints. Oh, when the saints. So that's going to be our strong beat, not the oh, when the. Obviously, you can sing along if you want to. That's why I added the word. So let's play through the right hand, starting one on the C, and there's a skip and a couple of steps. So make sure you look at those intervals. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tie. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tie. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tie, rest. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tie, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tie. Now, as you could hear, I was saying tie because there's always one crotchet tied to the semi-brief, the, the whole beat note. So it's five beats all together. And instead of saying one, I said tie. So we're holding it down. The right hand stays in the five finger position all the way through. So very easy to sight read, just skip and steps and follow the finger numbers. Now let's see that left hand. It starts with a C chord and the first beat of the bar is a rest. So we're starting from bar two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, G7, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Tie two, three, four, rest two, rest four, rest two, rest four, rest two, three, four, one. So very tricky because the rests are not always in the same place. Sometimes you have one, two, three, four, and sometimes you come on the main beat. When you put the two together, make sure to count and make sure to lift up the left hand at those rests. And the third important thing is to make sure the right hand is louder than the chords of the left hand. You don't want to overpower the melody with the chords in the left hand, just like we learned in the technique video. So starting in the C position. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 rest. 
Together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 left. So have fun with this piece, and this should be a nice grand closure of this module and we can carry on and learn about the C major scale and the primary chords in C major.